Like for many businesses, this past year has been difficult for City, a Lebanese restaurant in downtown Raleigh. The hardest part was about a year ago, we had no idea where we were going. It was bad. City has been able to stay open for indoor dining, but owner Greg Hadam says the masks and social distancing, while necessary, have taken away a crucial aspect of the dining experience. You know, we're accustomed to being close to our guests and, you know, hugging and inviting people in. And, you know, I think we'll all enjoy the crowd, the energy, the noise, and the hospitality that we've been able to give that we haven't been able to do this year. Governor Roy Cooper rolled out a new executive order that loosens some of the COVID-19 restrictions, including expanding the capacity limit for restaurants, bars, and other businesses. There's one vegetarian. For Garland, an Indian and Asian restaurant in downtown Raleigh, the updated capacity limits won't really change much. We're obviously going to maintain the social distancing. That's always the, the guiding factor. It's not about the percentages necessarily. Like Within those percentages, you still have to make sure that people are sitting six feet apart. In the interest of... But owner Chidi Kumar says it does show that North Carolina is on a positive path where restaurants' indoor dining has been closed since March of 2020, and they've relied solely on takeout and patio seating. But with most of our staff vaccinated, Kumar plans to open back up indoor dining in late April. We're excited about, you know, uh, resuming that human connection and having servers and real, real plates and real forks and knives and, you know, microgreens and pretty flowers and all of the things that make you um, have a transportive experience. For Greg Hatem, he's hopeful this means North Carolina is turning the corner. He says as more people get vaccinated, the closer we'll get to that pre-pandemic dining experience. That's our path out of this. You know, go get a vaccine. And uh, that's, that's really what we're, we're hopeful for. For COVID Uncovered, I'm David Hurst.